Good evening. And good evening, Professor. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Professor Mehra. Good evening, Dr. Mehra. Good evening. How are you? All good fine. Evening. Thank you. Yeah. Your boardroom is all full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very nice to see you guys. And it uh, looks like it's a, it's a very good hospital in Calicut. Yes, it is the best hospital. How Not only in Calicut, it's one of the best in the Kerala. South India uh, now. Oh, really? And uh, uh, how old is it? Um, I mean, when was it started? It started three years ago. Three years ago. Uh, very nice. Very Can we go to the program, sir? Yes. yes. Yes, please. Go ahead. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to welcome everyone of you on behalf of the Maitra family on this auspicious occasion of the inauguration of the Maitra Myeloma Clinic. This is a defining moment in the history of blood cancer treatment and bone marrow transplant in the state of Kerala. We are extremely honored by the gracious presence of my teacher and mentor, Professor N.K. Mehra, ex-dean, All India Institute of Medical Sciences, Ames, New Delhi, ICMR scientist, a father figure and a pioneer in the field of transplant immunology and immunogenetics. He'll be speaking later tonight. We are also blessed by the presence of our visionary chairman, sir, Mr. Faisal Kotikolon, our beloved director, Dr. Ali Faisal, sir, and our dear CEO, Dr. P. Mohanakrishnan, sir. I hand over the event to CEO, sir, Dr. Mohanakrishnan, to carry forward the event. Thank you very much, uh, Nagesh. It is indeed a wonderful moment in the history of Maitra Hospital that we are launching a very useful and very uh, uh, novel idea of uh, myeloma clinic as part of the Department of Hematology and Bone Marrow Transplantation. Let me express my, uh, my, my satisfaction and my uh, uh, gratitude towards the uh, entire audience, entire people who have logged in here to attend this uh, function. And I formally welcome everyone. So before I go into the formal welcoming of uh, other uh, the dignitaries, uh, I would like to say a few words about Dr. Ragesh because uh, Dr. Ragesh's inclusion into the Maitra Doctor fraternity has come as a boon. And because of his enthusiasm, we could develop this department very fast. And we could now, today we are inaugurating the uh, myeloma clinic, which is an integral part of the department of uh, uh, hematology. So Ragesh, uh, as he is from Calicut, he is uh, one of the enthusiastic persons I have ever seen. And I should thank uh, uh, Professor Mehra for uh, uh, grooming him to this level and uh, uh, so that he is now ready here to uh, head the department and lead it to the uh, very high levels. So let me take this opportunity uh, uh, to formally welcome Professor Mehra to this program. And uh, uh, he has very gracefully consented to be our chief guest today and also consented to inaugurate the myeloma clinic formally. Uh, I would also like to welcome our dear chairman, Mr. Faisal, uh, whose uh, visionary thinking uh, has uh, motivated all of us or keeps on motivating all of us. And Maitra is, in set, is set for very, 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 uh, uh, very futuristic developments coming in, uh, uh, very, very coming in shortly. So I welcome you, uh, 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 Mr. Chairman, Mr. Faisal, to this program. I would like to extend a formal welcome to our director, uh, Dr. Ali Faisal, uh, who has been instrumental in setting up uh, this hospital right from the beginning and uh, leading, uh, taking it, this hospital to this level. Welcome, uh, Dr. Ali Faisal. I would like to welcome all other uh, uh, dignitaries here. I would like to welcome Dr. Anup Narendran, who heads the medical administration here, and all the dignitaries who have joined, all the doctors and other staff who have joined this virtual inauguration program. Mm -hmm. Let us hope, and I'm 100% I'm, I'm sure, 
that this hematology department is going to be one of our flagship departments, which is going to serve the very needy people uh, suffering from uh, blood dyscrasias and associated programs, associated illnesses uh, in the state and also in the whole country. So uh, once again, I congratulate uh, Dr. Rageesh for having taken the initiative to establish a myeloma clinic and then uh, extend my formal welcome uh, to all those who are participating in this virtual inaugural ceremony. Now, I would like to welcome or invite our chairman, uh, Mr. Faisal, to uh, uh, do his uh, presidential address. Thank you, Dr. Mohan. Uh, good evening, Professor Mehra, uh, Ali, my colleague, board of director, uh, all my colleagues at MITRA. I'm based out of Dubai, so I'm calling, I'm speaking from home. Um, it's indeed uh, in a very momentous uh, occasion uh, for us uh, in the MITRA family. Uh, today is the inauguration of the sixth center of excellence, you know, the center for myeloma uh, treatment uh, in MITRA. This is a foray into a cancer treatment, uh, starting with blood cancer. Uh, I've been interacting with uh, Dr. Rageesh for the last few months uh, since I met him first time. And I was fascinated to see, you know, how blood cancer can be cured, you know, and he was mentioning, you know, it's a, a percentage wise, you know, 80% cure possibility, you know, if you treat the, uh, the blood cancer from the beginning. And I wasn't aware of that, you know, being a non-medical provision. So I was fascinated to hear the development happened in the blood cancer, especially, um, you know, he was talking about uh, the, the genomics and gene therapy uh, involved in the treatment of blood cancer. So today, uh, you know, it's a very important part of our journey. Maitra, as Professor Mehra uh, to know, that started three years ago, uh, initiated by me, Dr. Ali, and few other doctors, basically to uh, do something different than delivering healthcare services in our country. You know, we wanted to bring a high ethical standard uh, hospital uh, into Calicut, also bringing technology with the right kind of a people. And we've been relatively successful in setting up one of the best hospitals, I would say, and not only in South India, the all over the country, because we spent 450 crores uh, to set up this 220 bed hospital uh, in 2016. But the most important aspect of a hospital is not uh, you know, uh, the best facility hospital. Now what we are going to do in the coming years is fascinating all of us. We wanted to take the care to the home of the people. So we have started the initiative of uh, Mitra Care Network. The first center is coming up uh, in the, in the border of uh, Northern Kerala, which is Castle Court. And we wanted to expand this into other districts in the next 15 months. The, the most important aspect to know for Mera is we wanted to connect 15 million people in the next 15 months in Northern Kerala. So that's uh, the target we all of us are working on. And it's very, very important that, you know, we achieve the target through the hub and spoke model. We are bringing a lot of new technologies. You know, one of the technologies we brought in was the device assisted telemedicine, which is the first time is going to be uh, introduced in India itself uh, in, a, in a spoke in Castle Court. And also the tele ICU, which we started recently with the government hospital setting up a command center uh, in our hub uh, in, in Calicut. So we are actually looking healthcare in a different angle than most of the healthcare providers. Uh, the idea is to take care of the people's health requirements, starting from the preventive health to the post health, you know, so we wanted to cover the entire gamut of uh, the health care is not just when people get sick, uh, people come to the hospital and we treat them. We said, how do we treat, you know, before we get them, um, you know, become sick and, and also if there is a, a cure, after cure, how we can provide. So that's the whole, uh, the value chain we are trying to create in the next 15 months. So I wanted to congratulate Dr. Ragesh and the team. Uh, it, it's uh, very important, uh, uh, you know, aspect for the growth of Mitra, the blood cancer department, which is myeloma clinic. And I'm very happy that your mentor is here to inaugurate this clinic because it is uh, very, very important that, you know, who you learn from, you know, as to come and open this clinic. So I wanted to welcome Mr. Mehra for this uh, occasion. And uh, we'd like to invite you once the COVID situation uh, all settles down to come and visit our hospital 
and ambassadors in person. So I wish you all good luck and looking forward to see you soon. So I would like to, and I like to ask Dr. Ali uh, to uh, welcome Mehra and say a few words. Thank you, Faisal, and good evening all. And uh, uh, respected uh, chairman, Mr. Faisal, CEO Mohan, uh, my colleague Ragesh, as uh, a colleague in the department, Dr. Faisal Parid, Dr. Anup, and all of the people sitting in the boardroom at Maitra and the other uh, doctors who are joined in to uh, listen to this inaugural function. And I would say that it is a honor and privilege to talk about a person of the caliber of Professor Narinda Kumar Mehra. And if you see his uh, CV, which has been given to me by Rakesh, there is so much to read about. I, I was trying to condense it and present it in my 10 minutes reading because I had to talk something about the department also. So Dr. Mehra is a former Dean of All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, prestigious All India Institute. And he is also holding the honorary position of the ICMR Emeritus Scientist. In addition to that, he's a mentor to the SRL lab, which is one of the most reputed labs in the country, and Reliance Life Sciences. And he has served as a national chair for a period of five years. Dr. Mehra actually graduated from Amritsar Medical College from Punjab, then joined All India Institute, then did his um, master's and PhD from uh, All India Institute. And we would say that he was a pioneer in setting up a new specialty called transplant immunology and clinical immunogenetics, which was virtually non-existent in India. And I think we can call him uh, the doyen of this special uh, area of clinical speciality. And he single-handedly developed the department in All India Institute. And I think he served there for about 40 years, or about four decades. Uh, and then he superannuated as a senior professor and dean in 2014. His uh, further training he underwent in Leiden, uh, the University of Hospital in Leiden in Holland, and then other centers in uh, Europe. And he has worked with even uh, the Nobel laureate, Professor Donald Thomas. He has uh, his domain of research. There is a lot to talk about, but in the interest of time, he has a potential role of, uh, one of the specific role was that the role of HLA matching the organ and hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, influence of allo antibody, antibodies on transplant injury, stem cell biology, regenerative medicine, etc. He is a fellow of the Indian Academy of uh, Sciences, fellow of the Indian National Science Academy, and the prestigious Hungarian Academy, and, uh, and the World Academy of Sciences. If you note, Professor Mehra has more than 100 prestigious award to his credit, honors to his credit. And he, one of the key being the Bhatnagar Award for, of, of the Council of the Scientific and Industrial Research, that is called the CSIR uh, Center in 1992. And various award, international awards from the Iranian Research Organization. From the French president, he got the title of the Chevalier of the National Order. And one of the most pre prestigious being the B.R. Ambedkar Award for Excellence in Medical Research. Uh, which we got from our own Indian Council of Medical Research. But I would say that is the biggest achievement has been he has trained more than 40 PhD students in the country and more than 50 masters and um, MD, MS postgraduates in the area of clinical immunogenetics and transplant immunology. And for a teacher, this is one of the greatest achievements. And we can clearly say that there is none better than to be the guest of honor to launch the myeloma clinic at Maitra Hospital in the department of uh, hemato-oncology, which actually was set up almost two years ago. And I would just want to mention two few, few words about the, uh, the chairman, Mr. Faisal Vision. When we started initially, he was very keen on starting a cancer center and we have been keeping on trying to do that, and the, it is still in the pipeline. And uh, wanted to start a full-fledged center, and we are still thinking about all that. And in the meantime, we, we have started the hemato-oncology department. And since Dr. Ragesh has joined here, I would say that he is one of the most uh, 
uh, academically oriented, clinically oriented, very compassionate to the patient, whomsoever who has talked about Dr. Ragesh, and very dynamic, along with his team, Dr. Faisal Parid. I'm sure that he's got a big vision to make this center to be one of the best, at least in the state and South India. And he's started this myeloma clinic in such a short time shows his passion to take this center to the dream what he wants to. And I wish Dr. Ragesh and his colleagues and uh, all the best. Congratulations for starting this department. And I once again uh, welcome Dr. N.K. Mehra to this function. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ali. Now, we would request Professor uh, Mehra to come forward and bless the event and inaugurate the clinic. Thank you very much. Uh, I think at the very outset, I would like to thank uh, the chairman, Mr. Faisal, uh, the CEO, you know, Dr. Mohan. I have interacted with him once at least. And also the head of the department, you know, the director of the hemato-oncology. I'm so very glad that in Calicut, Calicut I have heard many, many times. I, I had the opportunity, I think about 30 years ago to go over there to Calicut. After that, I've never been there. But I'm so glad to learn that a city like Calicut has such a big hospital, Maitra Hospital. Now Maitra, I think is a good Sanskrit word, which actually means friendship. I, I, I hope, I, I really don't know how the name came up, but Maitra would be, more of a friendly hospital, a friendship hospital. This is really very good. And I'm so glad that uh, our own student, Ragesh, has gone over there and joined. That has been actually our goal. The goal of the All India Institute of Medical Sciences when it was established in 1956 under the Act of Parliament was to train people because our, our mandate has been threefold. You know, teaching, training, patient care, and research, all the faculty at the All India Medical Sciences are required to do these three services. But I think under these three services, our major goal is to train excellence, train people with excellence, and they must go to various parts of the country. And you have, of course, seen, of course, several of them stay back in Ames itself. So, so we do have in breeding over there, but many of them, like Ragesh, have actually gone out. And that is really something that gladdens my heart that a person who has been trained by us in Ames and who, you know, we, we try and train people, uh, we call them like academic doctors, you know, they, they, they have an academician's mind and not, not more of a, uh, you know, the um, corporate kind of a mind, but academician mind who can really think things uh, big and, and plan things. So I'm very glad that he, actually in, in a very short time, uh, try to establish this myeloma center in the, the department of hemato-oncology. I was just trying to look into, uh, you know, literature and see where else, where else do we have centers committed primarily to myeloma? And I found one in the Rockefeller University in New York, another in Mayo Clinic over there. So I think the specialties grow around a man. But now you have a man who is very much interested in myeloma and uh, around him, this whole specialty can grow. I haven't seen other centers in India who are committed to one disease like this. So I think from that point of view, you're doing extremely well. It's not just the multiple myeloma that we are talking about, but a whole lot of other diseases also of the plasma cells. And I think the one of the major ones that come to my mind is the gammopathy, Castleman's disease and many others over there. But I think in due course of time, I'm sure this center will become a benchmark center for not only South India, but whole of India, where the focus is on looking at myeloma. I was also very happy that in this pandemic time, somebody is talking about something non-COVID. You know, everybody is nowadays talking of COVID. You know, all the funds, all the funds that we have in various scientific agencies of India are being diverted to COVID. And I was so happy to learn that there is a, there is a group over here now in Calicut 
who really wants to focus on something non-COVID. In fact, I've been asked to write chapters or a status paper on the effect of COVID-19 on a, a, other diseases like the non-communicable type, you know, cancer, on diabetes and cardiovascular diseases, because all of them have actually suffered due to COVID. And, uh, and therefore, your focus primarily during the pandemic time to establish a very important center is really very laudable. What we have seen in the last few years, in fact, in the last one or two decades, the, um, the amazing progress has been done in multiple myeloma with the doubling or tripling of the lifespan. And this lifespan has increased because the availability of treatment options have increased. I'm also very glad to learn that is not only the myeloma center that you want to develop, but in the Department of Hematoncology, you are also considering establishing uh, uh, bone marrow transplant, what we call the hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. And there, I think that would be a very laudable objective there, because I do not see many centers in Kerala that are, that are actually associated with establishing uh, bone marrow transplantation or, or the stem cell transplantation. I would like to, you, you can always count on me and I will always be available to you for any help that you might need in terms of uh, establishing that. But what I have seen over the years, that there is a new generation immunomodulatory drugs and protease inhibitors that have become available, as well as the targeted therapies available for myeloma. And I think this is what has increased the lifespan. Earlier, the patients with multiple myeloma would really die uh, in, in a matter of years. But now I think there's a doubling of survival time, tripling of survival time. And we'll look at the data from the best centers around the world because of the fact that they are now establishing in addition to the conventional therapy, actually, many more. So I think immunotherapy is one thing that you might like to see in years to come because you will hear more about the CAR T cell therapy or immunotherapy using other tools. Uh, you know, the, uh, when you establish things like CAR T cells, uh, CAR T cell therapy over there, the issue of uh, cytokine storm and things of that sort will come. So I think the youngsters like Ragesh would be very, very much handy over here to establish all these new tools that we have, the new upcoming tools, in addition to the conventional chemo or the radiation therapy there. And then the problem of relapse, the problem of relapse or recurrence the MRD as we call about. And there's so much of work being done. So I think a center like yours could really turn out to be a comprehensive uh, approach, create a bench to bedside approach, uh, like, like it is already available in many centers in Europe and the USA there. There is also a whole lot of new drugs that have become available. Targeted therapies have become available, I think. So therefore, a center like this would really uh, encompass all of those treatment options. So I I really want to uh, congratulate you and congratulate the uh, administration. And I find uh, um, Mr. Faisal, the chairman of the group, to be very positive. And look at the positive note that he gave at the right at the beginning of this program, and uh, the kind of support that will come from the top, right from the top over there, to establish such kind of centers. So I'm really glad and uh, would be very happy to, uh, in the years to come, see the progress of this center, uh, you know, because we need such centers which are dedicated to particular diseases there, you know, disease-wise. It's not just leukemias or though. I think multiple myeloma and the associated plasma cell disorders have remained more or less neglected in India. And uh, I think centers like this would be very, very useful. So from that point of view, I'm very happy that a clinic like this is going to be established. Um, and oh, you could also actually start a number of uh, clinical trials. I, I think uh, most of the centers like this are engaged in trials because the num number of drugs have become available. So you will be in a much better situation to join the international group of scientists, so international group of doctors, 
to do other trials of other drugs and see whether it uh, you know, whether they work in the indian population or not because mind it that the um, a drug that might be useful in a caucasian population may not necessarily be of same level of uh, of effectivity in the, in the population of india so we need to have our own uh, population based data here population based understanding of the way the pharmaco uh genomics of the drug work and therefore in times to come develop useful to the population of india i think a whole lot of things to be done aunt was not well and he he used to be in the hospital all the time and i would call about 2 o'clock in the night and he would always be there and give me an update on uh, on actually her so these are people who have been very well trained and we are very proud of the fact that we train uh, doctors of excellence Doctor, and we train in them the uh, you know the the academic uh, feast, so that they not only go to a private hospital in terms of a private hospital, but also do research and development in the same way as they will do in other academic institutions in India. So, thank you so much for calling me here, and thank thanks to the chairman and thanks to the. Uh, ceo uh, uh for 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 inviting me here i look forward to once covid goes off i would be more than happy to come over sometimes and see and maybe work along with you thank you so much thank, thank you. you thank you thank you professor i appreciate it uh, thank you so much professor mehra you know for being a part of our milestone event today and inaugurating the clinic and you know, just to sum up what this clinic all is about we'll there'll be a video presentation that we'll be sharing for everyone's viewing so our presentation is in malayalam currently uh, so th so that everybody can understand properly what is you know what is this clinic all about okay. I am Dr. Rajesh Radha Krishna Nair, Director, Hematology and Oncology and Bone Marrow Transplant, Maitra Hospital, Calicut. Myeloma is a type of blood cancer. So, all our cells in the body are cancerous. Plasma cell is one cell. Cancerous cells are one cell. Multiple myeloma is one cell. Blood cancer is one cell. All of them are very painful. This is the treatment. This is the serious one. This is one cell. Tension is one cell. Anal multiple myeloma is one cell. All different treatments are available. For example, there are many options for multiple myeloma options. There are many options for treatment that are limited. But now, there are many other medicines available. As well as, if it is a blood cancer, it will affect the body in the body. For example, it will affect the body in the body, it will affect the kidney, it will affect the kidney failure. If there is a myelodosis condition, it will affect the heart. So basically, there is a multi-organ Involvement itu adalah multiple myeloma pada masa yang presiden saya ambil nol. Apa ini adalah permasalahan orang yang le patient already stress tadi kum by standards relative selaga stress tadi kum. Apa spine doctor nak kena bond di berum separate itu. Pinnya kidney ni doktor nak kena bond di berum kidney ni problem. Cepat dialysis ni awasnya beram. Apa ini dialysis central le separate itu bond di berum. Pala ada orang scans ni awasnya berum. Radiological scans ni awasnya berum. Pathologist ni awasnya berum. Apa ini orang yatra el tenne patient ni walaire stress dom strain do ayeri kum. Apa ini orang stress orang akan main di tu. Dalam malah Maitra Hospital le, vivida department le, renowned experts le, orang orang di share na, ani multiple myeloma clinic ur concept tu, dalam le start itu. Ini le endah orang le patient le, orang asal itu pernah mageram, patient ni dete ke dalam le beri orang treatment tu. So that, orang rofil le comprehensive aite, holistic aite, orang scientific treatment le, dalam ke, ini patients nak ke, walaya nalla ri di le nalgam petu. Ini clinic ni le, walaya important ur partner le, bone marrow transplant. Apa, nama le myeloma bone marrow transplant program le, dalam ke HEPA filtered, positive pressure diet la BMT rooms um. Adine kuda tenne trained diet BMT nursing staff um. Adu bole tenne advanced aphoresis machine akan, nammala arrange itu bercitan already. Apa i yero transplant facility nammala patients ni ada i klinik aite integrated aite ana nammala plan jinor. 
അതിൽ ഏറ്റവും ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് കാര്യം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ മൈലോമ ഇസ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദോസ് ബ്ലഡ് ക്യാൻസേഴ്സ് അതിൽ ട്രാൻസ്പ്ലാൻറ്റ് വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് റോളാണ് വളരെ കറക്റ്റായ ഒരു പേഷ്യൻ്റ് ഫിറ്റായ പേഷ്യൻ്റ് നമ്മൾ സെലക്റ്റ് ആക്കി നമ്മൾ ട്രാൻസ്പ്ലാൻറ്റ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ മൈലോമയിലെ ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റിൽ ബെസ്റ്റ് റിസൾട്ട്സ് വിത്ത് ദ ഹെൽപ്പ് ഓഫ് ബോൺ മരോ ട്രാൻസ്പ്ലാൻ്റ് ആണ് വരുന്നത് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ മൈലോമ എന്ന രോഗം കണ്ടെത്തുന്നതിനും ചികിത്സ ഫലപ്രദമാണോ എന്നറിയുന്നതിനും ലബോറട്ടറി ടെസ്റ്റുകൾ പ്രധാന പങ്ക് വഹിക്കുന്നു രക്തത്തിൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന സിറം പ്രോട്ടീൻ ഇലക്ട്രോഫോറസിസ് അതുപോലെ അസ്തിമജ്ജയിൽ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഇമ്യൂണോ ഹിസ്റ്റോ കെമിസ്ട്രി ഫ്ലോ സൈറ്റോമെട്രി എന്നിവ വളരെ പ്രധാനപ്പെട്ട ടെസ്റ്റുകളാണ് ഒരു ചികിത്സ തുടങ്ങിക്കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അതിൽ ബ്രോൺമാരോ ട്രാൻസ്പ്ലാൻറ്റ് ഫലവത്താണോ എന്നറിയുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി സ്റ്റെം സെൽ ഡോസ് നിർണയിക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി ഫ്ലോ സൈറ്റോമെട്രിയും മൈക്രോസ്കോപ്പിയും ഞങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യുന്നു ഒരു ഓർത്തോപ്പെഡിക് സർജൻ്റെ ഒ പിയിൽ വളരെ യാദൃശികമായി കണ്ടുപിടിക്കപ്പെടുന്ന ഒന്നാവാം മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ മൈലോമ വയസ്സേറിയ പലരും പുറം വേദന അനീമിയ അങ്ങനെയായി ഓർത്തോപ്പെഡിക് ഒ പിയിൽ കാണിക്കാൻ വരാറുണ്ട് ചെറിയ ചില ടെസ്റ്റുകൾ വഴി നമുക്ക് വളരെ എളുപ്പത്തിൽ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാവുന്ന ഒന്നാണ് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ മൈലോമ മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ മൈലോമ ബാധിച്ച പലർക്കും സ്പൈനൽ ഫ്രാക്ചേഴ്സ് നട്ടലിന് ക്ഷതം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഫ്രാക്ചേഴ്സ് ഉണ്ടാകാറുണ്ട് അങ്ങനെയുള്ളവർക്ക് വളരെ അത്യാധുനിക സർജറീസായ വെർട്ടിബ്രോ പ്ലാസ്റ്റി കൈഫോ പ്ലാസ്റ്റി ഇല്ലെങ്കിൽ പോസ്റ്റിയർ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻ്റൽ സ്റ്റെബിലൈസേഷൻ എന്നുള്ള സർജറീസ് ലഭ്യമാണ് പോസ്റ്റിയർ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻ്റൽ സ്റ്റെബിലൈസേഷന് പുറമേ മിനിമലി ഇൻവേസീവ് പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സായ താക്കോൽ ദ്വാര ശസ്ത്രക്രിയകൾ നമ്മുടെ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൽ വളരെ കോമണായി ചെയ്തു വരുന്നുണ്ട് നമുക്കിവിടെ ഫുള്ളി എക്വിപ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള വെൽ ട്രെയിൻഡ് ആയിട്ട് സ്റ്റാഫ്സ് ഉള്ള ഇരുപത്തിനാല് മണിക്കൂറും വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു ഡയാലിസ് യൂണിറ്റാണ് നമുക്കിവിടെ ഉള്ളത് ഐ പി ബേസിസിലുള്ള രോഗികൾക്കും ഒ പി ബേസിലുള്ള രോഗികൾക്കും നമുക്കിവിടെ ഡയാലിസ് ചെയ്യാൻ സാധിക്കുന്നതാണ് കൂടാതെ നമ്മളിവിടെ കിഡ്നി ബയോപ്സി പോലെയുള്ള പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അതുവഴി നമുക്ക് മയോലോമ പോലുള്ള പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ സാധിക്കുന്നതാണ് പ്ലാസ്മ സൈറ്റോമ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ബ്ലഡ് ക്യാൻസറുകൾ സാധാരണയായി തലയോട്ടിയെയും നട്ടലിനെയും ബാധിക്കുന്നതായിട്ടാണ് കാണാറ് തലയോട്ടിയിലാണെങ്കിൽ ചെറിയൊരു തടിപ്പോ മുഴയായിട്ട് വരാം അതല്ല നട്ടലിലാണെങ്കിൽ വിട്ടുമാറാത്ത വേദനയോ കാലുകൾ കൈകൾക്കുള്ള ബലക്കുറവൊക്കെ ആയിട്ടാണ് സാധാരണഗതിയിൽ കാണാറുള്ളത് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള രോഗികളെ സി ടി സ്കാൻ എം ആർ ഐ പെറ്റ് സ്കാൻ മുതലായ ചികിത്സകൾ വഴി അതെവിടെയൊക്കെയാണ് ബാധിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നതെന്ന് അറിയുകയും അതിൻ്റെ തുടർ ചികിത്സയായി ശസ്ത്രക്രിയയിലൂടെ പരമാവധി ക്യാൻസർ കോശങ്ങളെ നീക്കം ചെയ്യുകയും അതിനുശേഷം തുടർ ചികിത്സയ്ക്ക് വിധേയരാക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുകയാണ് പതിവ് നമ്മുടെ റേഡിയോളജി ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൽ ഒരു ഹൈ സ്പീഡ് വൺ ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റ് സ്ലേ സി ടി സ്കാനറും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഒരു ത്രീ ടെസ്റ്റില അഡ്വാൻസ്ഡ് എം ആർ ഐ അവൈലബിൾ ആണ് അത് ഉപയോഗിച്ച് നമുക്ക് നേരത്തെ തന്നെ സ്ക്രീനിങ് ചെയ്ത് ഈ രോഗം കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ കഴിയും സി ടി സ്കാൻ കുറച്ച് സെൻസിറ്റിവിറ്റി കുറവാണ് പക്ഷേ അത് നമുക്ക് ബയോപ്സി ചെയ്യാനും അതുപോലുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ പറ്റും എം ആർ ഐ വളരെ നേരത്തെ തന്നെ വളരെ ചെറിയ ഫോക്കസ് ഓഫ് മൈലോമ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ തന്നെ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും ത്രീ ടെസ്ല എം ആർ ഐ ഉപയോഗിച്ച് നമുക്ക് ഈ കാർഡിയാക് അമൈലോഡോസിസ് അതായത് മൈലോമയിൽ ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ഒരു പ്രത്യേക കണ്ടീഷൻ അത് ഡയഗ്നോസ് ചെയ്യാനും പറ്റുന്നതാണ് ബ്ലഡ് ക്യാൻസറും മൈലോമ അതുപോലെ ബോൺ മാരോ ട്രാൻസ്പ്ലാൻറ്റിന് വരുന്ന രോഗികൾക്ക് പ്രോട്ടോകോൾ അനുസരിച്ചിട്ട് സ്പെഷ്യലൈസ്ഡ് ഭക്ഷണ രീതിയാണ് നമ്മളിവിടെ നൽകുന്നത് ഓരോ രോഗിക്കും അവരുടെ രോഗാവസ്ഥയും അവരുടെ സ്റ്റേജ് അനുസരിച്ചിട്ടും ഭക്ഷണ രീതി മാറിക്കൊണ്ടേയിരിക്കും അതനുസരിച്ചിട്ട് പ്രത്യേകം പാചകം ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമ്മളതിവിടെ നൽകുന്നത് ആധുനിക ഫിസിയോതെറാപ്പിയിൽ മൈലോമയ്ക്കായി നല്ല ചികിത്സാ രീതികൾ ലഭ്യമാണ് ഇവിടെ ഫിസിയോതെറാപ്പി ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റിൽ അതിനുള്ള എല്ലാ സജ്ജീകരണങ്ങളും ഒരുക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് മസിലുകളെ ശക്തിപ്പെടുത്തുവാൻ വേണ്ടിയുള്ള പ്രത്യേകതരം എക്സസൈസുകളും ഹാൻഡ്സ് ഓൺ ടെക്നീക്സും നടക്കുവാൻ സഹായിക്കുന്ന അഡ്വാൻസ് മെഷീനുകളും ഇവിടെ സജ്ജമാണ് അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ കണ്ടതെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഈ മൈലോമ ക്ലിനിക് കാരണം പേഷ്യൻസിൻ്റെ ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് വളരെ എളുപ്പമാണ് പേഷ്യൻസിനോട് ഭയങ്കര കംഫർട്ടബിളും നല്ല എഫക്റ്റീവാണ് സോ എനിക്ക് എല്ലാവരോടും പറയാനുള്ളതെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ മൈലോമ എന്ന് കേൾക്കുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങളെല്ലാവരും പേടിക്കരുത് വാട്ട് ഇസ് റിക്വയർഡ് ഇസ് ടു സീക്ക് ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് അറ്റ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ടൈം സോ ദാറ്റ് മൈലോമ ക്യാൻ ബി ഈസിലി കൺട്രോൾ
uh, create uh, uh, an all-round healthcare facilities for the people of Kerala. So we are all very proud that we are part of this journey. But Thank I you for coming and opening this. When there is a positive attitude from your side. So I see that you and your CEO, all of them in a very positive attitude. And what you said was very remarkable. You said that in the next 15 months, you're going yes. to a network of 15 million people actually Correct. all over Correct. around Kalikar. That's really the so yes. it gives me hope that Ragesh will develop it as a as a center of excellence kind, you know, yes. uh, state of the art. And I see that the, there are state of the art all all uh, help available to him from all other um, departments actually. So I I want to see it grow as a benchmark center. Thank yeah. you. Looking forward to have you there. Very nice. Unfortunately, it is not possible to meet, uh, you know, uh, personally due to COVID, but hopefully now the, the vaccine is around the corner actually. I also myself have also gone, gone into COVID so much. I've been writing regularly for Hindustan Times. Um, if I have your phone numbers and, and you are available on the WhatsApp, I'll send you about 10 articles I wrote about immunity and vaccines to COVID-19. So, you know, uh, my, my interest has actually moved towards COVID now a bit more because, because of the need and the requirement there. Of course, my first love still remains, uh, you know, the transplant immunology, particularly in relation to organ and hematopoietic stem cell transplantation. But, you know, we have to deal with the... Uh, COVID-19 uh, as a full team, you know, the teamwork. So I keep yeah. writing from time to time. In, I'll send you my contact details. I'll love uh, to read about this. Yeah. Article. Maybe I'll send it to you, uh, send it yeah. to Rakesh by email and he, he, he can circulate to, to, to all of you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think uh, it's a very tough time that we are in, uh, but I'm glad even in the tough time, you have uh, thought of establishing a center like this. That's only one. only hope, uh, you know, will take us to the next step, you know. So I always tell, you know, we need to be always uh, giving hope and uh, moving forward and uh, not be backward, correct? So I think uh, next coming years will be a good year. The whole world, everybody suffered, you know, and I think uh, we are in the, the fag end of the problem. Looks like 2021 uh, onwards will be a good time for all of us. I'm sure the humanity will be wiser by the time COVID goes, you know. Yeah. Right? COVID has also taught us some things that are very useful. For yeah. some, never had a platform like this, where yes. you used to hold conferences and workshops and uh, lectures and webinars uh, yeah. all the time. And this is really re remarkable that you are in Dubai and others are, you know, some people are in uh, Calicut and others in other cities. I yeah. in Delhi. We can all come under one platform over yeah. here. And, Absolutely. This is something Absolutely. never available to us, RTF. No, I think no. this is something that will stay back even, even if COVID goes away. So Absolutely. there are some positives that we will have from the pandemic. Absolutely, because I think the biggest challenge of the climate change, uh, you know, uh, will be the biggest uh, plus point, uh, the, you know, after COVID is going to be. You know, I think people will reduce travel, you know, our uh, nature will heal by itself and we have seen that uh, in the last eight, nine months, you know, birds are back and uh, you know, climate change has happened for the better. So I think these are the positive takeaways uh, from the difficult times, you know, so for everything there is a balance. I think it is a God's way of showing us, you know, we need to balance the ecosystem and I'm a very hopeful person, I'm a very optimistic person uh, and that's why today is a very important day for Maitra because we've been always pushing this forward, correct? We said, Difficult times will come and go. Uh, what we need is the unity, the hope, you know, and, and humanity. You know, we need to serve the humanity. We need the leaders to give hope to the people you know, below us. So I think uh, this is a very important uh, uh, day for all of us. And we are very honored to have you because it's very important person uh, in our country to come and inaugurate this center. So I would like to also thank Dr. Ragesh uh, and wish you all the best you know, and I'm sure that we will all will be meeting soon uh, in your center, uh, you know, inshallah next year.
So I, I would like uh, Mohan to close this uh, event. Before we close the event, uh, Agesh has got a few words to say about the center again, and then we will go to the vote of thanks. Sure. Yes. Thank you, sir. So the myeloma clinic is actually an example of what great teamwork can deliver. So uh, I would again want to take this opportunity to thank uh, Professor Mehra, sir, who has graced this auspicious occasion and shared his uh, pearls of wisdom with us. I also extend my wholehearted thanks to the Maitra Myeloma team and the Maitra family. As a department and as an organization, we would always strive to deliver state-of-the-art treatment to patients suffering from serious blood disorders to the people of entire state of Kerala, India, and also foreign nationals who need to access the treatment for disorders of blood, both benign and cancerous. We will always strive to provide evidence-based, protocol-based, care pathway-based treatment to the patients on a personal level in close collaboration, engagement, support with other specialties of our hospital. We always ensure that this care should always be comfortable, efficient, and seamless for the patient and for the family also as a whole. What we want is to have them an experience of a home away from their homes and not that of a hospital. So not only that, we hope in times to come, the department will play a pivotal role in not only addressing the treatment needs of the people of Kerala and India, but also play a crucial role in shaping the policies regarding blood cancer treatment and other blood disorder treatment and bone marrow transplant in the entire state of Kerala as well as in India. The department also intends to go very deep and into the society and establish close collaboration with other stakeholders by providing uh, close academic interactions, training activities, and combined medical activities in the community. And of course, our final goal is also to start an academic program where we provide fellowship and training programs and DM, DNB programs in times to come so that the larger purpose of the department to give the society to enhance the healthcare of the state of Kerala is also completed. So after this, I hand over this virtual stage to uh, the head of administration, medical administration, Dr. Arup Narendran for the concluding remarks. Thank you, Dr. Rakesh. At the outset, uh, let me wish a graceful evening to our most valued chief guest, Professor Narendra Mehra, the Chairman, Dr. Faisal Kotikolan, our CEO, Dr. Mohan Nagashnan, our Director, Dr. Ali Faisal, and all my colleagues. It's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks speech and acknowledge the contribution of all those who worked really hard to make this event happen. On behalf of Maitra and the entire fraternity, first of all, I extend my thanks to Almighty God for making today's evening a resounding success. I pray to God that our myeloma clinic and the hemato-oncology and bone marrow transplant unit become one of the best in the country and give its contribution to the entire world. On behalf of Metra, I extend a really hearty word of thanks to our chief guest, Professor Narendra Mehra, ex-dean of All India Institute of Medical Science, who is a doyen and a stalwart in the field of transplant immunology and immunogenetics, who has had his very busy schedule to come and grace this occasion. I would like to extend my sincere thanks to our beloved visionary, our chairman, Dr. Faisal Kotikolan, who has built this impeccable infrastructure hospital in Calicut, the state of Kerala. I extend my sincere thanks to Dr. Ali Faisal, the director, who has been instrumental in setting up all the clinical departments and the non-clinical departments. I extend my sincere thanks and gratitude to our beloved CEO, Dr. Mohan who was always there with us day in and day out and was very instrumental in making this event a grand success. It was always a phone call away from all of us. Outside also, I'd like to thank all the doctors and my colleagues who has assembled here to make this event a grand success. An event like this cannot happen overnight. Wheels started rolling weeks ago. 
we have been fortunate enough to be backed by an excellent marketing team, our IT team, and of course, our strategy and business planning headed by Mr. Adnan. Once again, I thank each and everyone who has assembled here and has made the event a very grand success. Thank you, everyone. Wish you a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you Professor Mehra. We'll meet up. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, Faisal. Thank you, Dr. Mehra. Nice. All the thank best, you. Nagish. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining the meeting. Yes.